from rugby players to cricketers and even boxers. Uganda has had its share of disappearing acts by athletes. Helen Buteme has been on several trips, both as a player and a coach. She admits the temptation for some is hard to resist. When you look at uh, some of the athletes who disappear, um, some haven't completed their um, uh, secondary school education, even primary school education, or they haven't gone to university. They don't have stable jobs, they don't have stable employment. Over 15 sportsmen have not returned home after competitions abroad over the past decade. The disappearance of a weightlifter and boxer at the Commonwealth Games in Australia has added to that number. More recently, three boxers disappeared at the World Boxing Championships in Germany. Often, the athletes are not breaking any immigration rules. It is only when they overstay their welcome that a host country can act. And over the years, no known Ugandan athlete has been deported or detained. Ugandan authorities have tried to come down harshly on federations whose athletes disappear. Last year, the Sports Council suspended boxing officials and the federation. The house must be in order. And that's why we are putting our foot down and say, with the regulations, there is no shortcut. You either comply or we follow you up. But with more international competitions, there seems to be little they can do for the athletes. The choice not to return home is often motivated by politics or the search for opportunities. And some have found a breakthrough. A boxer like Sharif Boge, who is now under the mill with the promotions, where would you think a Ugandan from Kaleri will get that opportunity without them having reached the America or Europe or something like that? So Sharif Bogere is one guy who escaped from the national team, he was even a captain for that matter, and then he, he started a new life, a good one at that. A third of Cameroon's athletes competing at the Gold Coast Commonwealth Games have been reported missing. The disappearing act may be a concern for now, but it's more than likely this won't be the last. Leon Sanyangi Sijitien, Kampala, Uganda.